Hey guys, good morning. So you can see it's early and I'm planning the day for today. On the right hand side, the app has combined my work and my personal calendars into one view. So these are my work calendar appointments. I've got these two huddles and you can see on my personal calendar, I've got this time out in the middle of the day to go to the gym and take some thinking time, etc. So on the left hand side, I've got the quick to do's and the longer to do's. And you can see the longer to do's, you can adjust the time, how long you think it's going to take. And the quick to do's get aggregated together and it, on the schedule, it creates a quick to do allowance. So you haven't got too many things appearing on the schedule page. There's also a general allowance, which you can set for unplanned interruptions. You can see today I've got about, what's that, 17, about the 30 minutes of that set for the day. And if I click up here, I'll be able to see what it is. Yep, 30 minutes. My target work hours today is eight hours. And when I'm looking at the longer to do's, you can see I've got this one here, which I actually want to do first. And it's, uh, it's not scheduled first and I need more time. So what I'll do, I'm actually going to make that say an hour and a half, give it a little bit more time. So that's going to trigger a reschedule. You can see it's split it across there, taking more time. But I also now want to make it the first to do for the day. So I'm going to move it up and that'll trigger the schedule to change in a moment. There it is. So I've got a little allowance here for unplanned interruptions, like making this video, and then I'll be able to get into that. And it's scheduled it around those existing meetings. So I should have that one finished by 10.25. Then I've got a little bit of time. It's automatically scheduled for me to get through these quick to-dos. Then I'll be off to the gym, personal calendar. And then in the afternoon, I'll move on to the next longer to-do. And I can see already before my day starts, my capacity is 72%. So I've got room to take on more things today versus my target work hours. And at any point I can see what I've got left to do for the day, which at this case, it's just starting. So I've got four hours of uh, longer to-dos plus the quick to-dos. There's my allowance and my available time in terms of taking on more work, helping other people or volunteering to participate in other meetings is about two hours as of now. If I don't fill that up, I should finish today at four o'clock based on my target work hours. So it removes all your stress. You know where you're heading as the day starts and you're in control, and then it automatically creates the schedule based on the order and the timing you set. And then it applies that schedule around your work and your personal calendars. Super easy, enjoy it guys. And as you're doing that, you can also look at your priorities for the week and make sure those influence how you're planning out your day. Thanks very much.